Hi friends! Let's see what I got in the Walmart beauty box. I feel like I'm late getting it, but apparently my credit card maybe that I had on file had expired, so they sent an email and I had to give them a new one. And I really did, I considered putting a hat on for you because I know I kind of look messy, but I decided that maybe looks just as bad. What do you think? Is it, would you rather see my hair covered up and have a hat on? <laughs> so, I thought some kind of interesting things, I suppose, in this times. The full-size item I received was the Kiss Gel Fantasy Sculptured Nails. The full size is $7.97, which, you know, is basically what the box costs. So this is what's paying for it, although I would never pay $8 for a pair, a set of fake nails. I don't wear mine this long just because I'm not talented enough to then do anything else. Um, and kind of really dislike the color. But nail polish stays on fake nails really good. And I can trim them down. So I'm sure at some point I will use them. Just out of curiosity, I wonder if it comes with glue and stickers or just one or the other. It does. And I do like the glue usually better than the stickery form. I don't honestly understand how the rest of you get it to stay on with the stickers. Mine are like usually they puff up and then I get my like hair caught in between the nail and the my own nail and I'm constantly pulling hair out and it's they're just a mess. <laughs> so there must be some secret I don't know about to those. I just go ahead and stick them all the way down with glue and I just use regular old super glue from the Dollar Tree if the nails don't come with their own. Then, as I think almost everyone has gotten, I did get the Neutrogena Fragrance-Free Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Little baby size here. It would usually just be $9 for 7.8 ounces, and this is just a 0.5 ounce. But I've been traveling a bunch lately, and so I'm going through little baby gel cleansers. So I'll use it, and good thing, since they sent another one, the CeraVe Cream to Foam Cleanser, which normally would be $12.47 for 12 ounces. This one also is, well, this is one ounce. So this is twice the size of this. Mm -hmm. The other product I think I've seen in about everybody's is the Mark Anthony Repair Bond Leave-In Treatment, but I love a leave-in hair treatment and Again, one the size that I can throw in a travel bag easily. I'm, I'm happy with that. I've never tried it before, but it says right here that it's clinically proven to make hair stronger, smoother, and shinier. So let's do that then. And a dry shampoo. The full size is $15 for four ounces. This is 0.6 ounces. Not very much, that's okay. You know, see if it actually helps. The thing is, my hair, it's not like it gets crazy oily. It just gets, like, stringy and not good. <laughs> Let's comb through it. Well, did, what do you think? Did it help? A little less yucky? Should I take a thumbnail now where my hair looks slightly better? I mean, honestly, it does look better, but um, I don't know if it will just start separating again very quickly or not. Let's, well, we'll see. We got probably two more minutes of stuff to talk about here. All right, then this little sample pack of CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Care Color Correcting Serum Moisturizer Primers. And there's little samples of each. This one says it's for fair, light, medium, and dark skin. And, I mean, really, depending on the season, I could probably use them all. It says for the fair that it is a redness neutralizer. For the light, it is a total brightener. For the medium, it is a dullness reducer. And for the deep, it is a dark spot neutralizer. Well, I mean, 
Should I try one of these just so I know what it feels like? I'll get darker all summer, so let's just start out with this lightest one. It's green. There's definitely still some left in the package, but I couldn't quite tell how much. My hair is sticking to me. Feels fine. Doesn't feel sticky. Doesn't feel... Feels fine. Did you feel like it took away any redness? I kind of feel like it didn't. Um, but probably all the, you know, touching of my skin um, would bring redness up anyway. So there's that. The little cover girl says that they are for one ounce, $15 for those serums. And the last thing is a sample of the Juicy Couture It's Sunny Honey, where a full size is $38.97 for 2.5 ounces. And you know that I am not real into fragrances unless they smell like fruity food. Um, but look, it says rock the rainbow. That's cute. All right. So might as well spray it on me. Oop. I think I mostly missed, but I can still smell it. And you know what? It's not bad. It's a little sweet. Yeah, I, I would smell like this. This is a good cross between the sweetness that I like and being an, an adult. <laughs> I kind of like it. However, I will be putting it in with my other perfumes that I never remember to wear. Not a bad box, I don't think, for $7.00. And it was fun to get something nice in the mail. My hair is already, like, I think, you know, looking not clean again. <laughs> um, but, you know, we can't ask it to be a miracle. Maybe um, it works good for one day out, not, not five days out. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Thanks for sticking around till the end so I can tell you a little something about what's been happening. The little hotel in our town that we live in has chickens, and she brought in, the owner of the hotel brought in some baby chickens, and I have been going over and playing with them a little. I'm um, seeing if I can bond with them. I have no idea how chickens work. So I watched some videos so that I didn't do anything that was hurting them. And a couple of them had something called pasty butt. So I actually then helped wash the little chickens butts <laughs> um, so that, you know, they stay healthy. So there are two different, there's the brown ones and the black and white ones. And I've been trying to do all these things like look at them in the eye from the side. <laughs> so I'm going to see then if these little guys, when they grow up, know me any more than the big chickens that are already there. And if they like come up to see me, um, when I come to visit them, I wasn't around when they first hatched, which, you know, so I didn't like imprint on them, which is apparently a thing, but they still say, you know, they can get to know me if I come around enough when they're little. And this is, yeah, kind of how, I, <laughs> how I'm holding them. Um, so I don't know, just thought maybe I'd share that little tidbit of information and see you in another video. Bye.